Alright, so a couple of things. So, first off, I just tried to make coffee and I didn't even put water in the Keurig. I didn't even know it could brew doing that, but I just made like a fourth a cup of brewed coffee, so that's probably gonna be really strong. Second off, it's my birthday. Well, actually, today is not my birthday, but when this goes live tomorrow, it's gonna be my birthday, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe for your boy's birthday, because if you didn't, it's just kind of rude, right? Like, you kind of have to do what the birthday person says, or at least that's how it's been ever since I've grown up. So, I'm gonna brew another cup of coffee here real quick, take my pre-workout, and then I'm going to go to the gym, go through my entire pull day for the day, because we're switching back to push-pull legs for the next four weeks. It's gonna be brutal. I've been doing sets of, I did sets of eight to 12 yesterday on bench. We're doing sets of eight to 12 here on deadlifts today. I know for a fact I'm gonna to want to throw up. I'm gonna show you guys my entire pull day, so how I set it up and everything like that. Probably kind of just like a little vlogish type of style. Uh, some sets of me doing the workout, some sets of Tay just because Tay just is gonna start working out with me once again. And then after the workout, I will probably tell you guys why and how I dropped my protein as a sponsor and if I still like them or if I don't like them anymore. So I'm gonna make this coffee because. It's just really depressing looking at that one-fourth cup over there. And then, let's get to the gym, baby. All right, first set, eight to 12, no headphones. Let's rip her. Ow! 40 minutes, how many reps are you at? 15. Jeez, yeah, do more weight next time. I was like, dude, I feel like he's been going for so long. So the first thing we're doing is set to eight to 12 on deadlift. I have not, we haven't done over like five reps in maybe like six months. This is gonna fuck. I can't believe you did 15. Yeah, that's locked. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Guys, I've legitimately done pull-ups for seven years now, and I can still not even do three sets of ten without using the damn thing. Second back exercise, three sets of 12 to 15. Same thing with the pull-ups, RP8 on the first two, and then till failure on the last one. Preferably doing more weight than this guy, but. <laughs> 12 to 15 on this as well, three sets. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. Three sets of 8 to 12 on this one as well. All right, what's going on boys? So, I don't know if you guys got like the gist of the workout, but generally I'll do sets of like, or reps of eight to 20 reps, and RP eight for the first two sets, last set till failure. I'm pretty much gonna be doing that same exact split, like almost probably the same exact exercises for the next four weeks or so. Still progressively overloading on the weight, reps, etc. Like today I did 405 per sets of eight on deadlifts. Next week I'll probably do 425, 435. Try and go up from there. Continue to progress over and over, obviously. And yeah, I don't know, I just really like push-pull legs. Like if you're looking for a good split, push-pull legs is definitely the way to go. Check the link down below in the description if you do want a good push-pull leg plan. I swear, I made the most gains on that, hypertrophy-wise. 
obviously. So, yeah. And then we're going to get back into some powerlifting. But let's get into my protein stuff here really quick. Also, I know I look freaking homeless right now. I need to go shower, shave, and get a haircut today because it's your boy's birthday tomorrow. Okay, so my protein stuff. No, I do not hate them. I'm not like super upset with them or anything. It is kind of annoying just because, so they paid me X amount of money each month for a salary and they wanted to half that. And I just didn't really want to take that because I feel like I can get a better uh, deal than that, I guess, offer, sponsorship, whatever you want to call it. And it does kind of suck just because they said they were like making a little extra money, but like not enough. But they only track the money through the links and there's a lot of you guys that sent me uh, yourself buying stuff using my code but not directly through my link because you didn't know like why would they only it, it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense that they only tracked it through the link and not through my code but anyways we're here it's okay it's gonna be okay it's really not that big of a deal I'll find a new sponsorship I do still like my protein products a lot I will say their protein impact whey protein is really freaking good the pre-workouts mediocre get creatine from there whatever you want it's really cheap still highly recommend it and yeah, but now I'm gonna probably try a whole bunch of different types of uh, products out and I'm kind of excited for that, not gonna lie. So, because I haven't had different types of pre-workouts in like forever, so I'm ex excited to uh, feel something again and give you guys my like sincere ratings and if I find another product line that I really like, then I will probably try and get sponsored by them. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna see any of the other days, leg day, push day, whatever it may be. Also, maybe even the second pull day of the week because it's different than the first. Co comment that down below as well. I'll start sharing that. Also start sharing uh, some of the deets of what I'm eating to get shreddy this summer. So yeah, stay tuned. I love you guys. See you later, boys.